I would like to thank one of my subscribers, Melanin Love, for this story. Ladies and gentlemen, this is something that has been happening behind the scenes. As you know, everybody is focused on coronavirus and we still should be focused on it because it's still happening. But the Supreme Court recently ruled unwarranted traffic stops are reasonable. And whenever you say that, we know the main target will always be us. You don't have to do anything wrong to end up in jail in America. Always remember that. And you don't have to do anything wrong to end up stopped by a cop. That's how they have the system all rigged up. It's been a rigged up system from the time our folks left the plantation all the way up until now. You know, it just go to show you, they don't let go of the hate even when disease and pestilence is going on in the land. They keep right on up with the hatred. So ladies and gentlemen, this is April 6, 2020. The Supreme Court ruled Monday that a traffic stop without any actual driving infraction does not run afoul of the Constitution if the officer had a hunch the driver has a revoked license. That's stupid. But this is what they're saying. If he just believes that there's a possibility that your license is revoked, like he got some magic eight ball in the patrol car with him. Oh, it's that guy over there in that red car. It's him. He doesn't have a, a valid license. The case, So they can hide behind that excuse for everything. Think about that. Well, I thought maybe your license wasn't valid. You know, and they can run all of that stuff, but they'll still use that anyway. They'll run it and see that you are in the clear and they'll they'll still walk up and just start some mess with you. This is just another excuse for it. The case was brought before the justices by the state of Kansas after the state's highest court sided with the driver who had been stopped after a police officer ran his plates only to discover the owner of the vehicle had a revoked license. Okay, so because of one individual, now this thing got to go countrywide? No, see, these people have a history of always looking for a problem, always fishing around for a problem. They do this everywhere, on jobs, on the street, in public. It doesn't matter. They do this mess everywhere. The officer, though he did not observe a driving infraction and did not confirm the driver resembled the owner of the truck, pulled the vehicle over on a hunch. So this person was not violating anything on the road, but he pulled him over over a hunch. You know, even if he found a license revoked, you see how extreme they've gone with this thing? Now they've gone nationwide with it over one person. Once the hunch was confirmed, the officer then ticketed the man for driving on a revoked license. And that's where it should have ended. The Kansas Supreme Court said the lack of reasonable suspicion to initiate the stop violated the Fourth Amendment, suggesting the officer had to act on more than just a hunch. And I agree with that. It should, you know, but the Supreme Court overruled the, you know, the United States Supreme Court overruled the Kansas Supreme Court on this. But the high court in an eight to one ruling said the stop was permissible. So right there on that ruling, they have now encouraged these cops on a hunch to, to just bother us even more. See, this is why judgment is on America to this very day, because when you do these things, we know who your intended target is.
And now the most high got you in his target. And if you really think you're going to reopen a country with a highly contagious disease going on and you're going to be successful at it, you got another thought coming. But see, hard heads can only learn through experience. And see, President Orange, as soon as everything falls apart, he's going to deny he had anything to do with it. When people get sick and they die, He's going to take zero responsibility for it. But see, him and the elites, they have lost a lot of money. So they need to push the minions back out here to work. But you, you reap what you sow, and this is definitely coming back on you. Make no mistake about it. And that judgment will be swift. If you think you're going to keep a country open with a highly contagious disease that's airborne out here, you just wait and see. And, and see, the devil tree just never stops. The reason prior Fourth Amendment cases have allowed the police officer to conduct a brief traffic stop when he or she has particularized or objective basis for suspecting the particular person stopped of criminal activity. And who do they always suspect of criminal activity? Us. Even when you, you are out here doing nothing. Like I said, y'all keep this mess up. The judgment on America is going to get worse than what you see now. You ain't seen nothing yet. Justice Sonia Sotomayor would have ruled for the driver reasoning the ruling for the state lowered the burden of proof on police to seize a vehicle. The uh, majority today have paved the road to finding reasonable suspicion based on nothing more than a demographic profile. Just another way of saying a racial profile because we know certain demographics are predominantly Black. We know that. That's why they're saying demographic, just so they don't have to say race. Its logic has thus made the state's task all but automatic. That, ha that has never been the law, and it never should be, she wrote in her dissent. Mm-mm-mm. She's the only one that made sense out of all the justices. But, you know, remember, y'all, you got Clarence Thomas sitting there. He might as well be a Klansman sitting up on the Supreme Court, as far as I'm concerned. But this is what we're dealing with. So just remember, they're going to be bearing down on us even harder because of the Supreme Court ruling and traffic stops. All the officer got to do is be suspicious or have a hunch about something as if they haven't been running the system on that already. Y'all, please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.